right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. And now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Temecula, California, Boom Boom. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. It seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, it's truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy, will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Gotta think his opponent's gonna feel that one in the morning. And he's gonna continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Boy, Ty Plum. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Big body kick. Couple of chins here being tested early. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Nice one-two there. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Superman punch lands! Shot to the body, turned back by Lee. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. It's the elbow there. What a tricky hit. Nice elbow in the clinch there up top by Lee. Single collar tie now. Nice punch. And both guys really throwing with a four. Nice kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, big punch land. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, big knee there. Yep. <laughs> J 
just missed with the left there. Got the single collar tie. Beautiful right hook counter. Powerful leg kick land. Connects with a right. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, he got the folder to target very quickly. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll, suddenly, he'll change his stance. Big hog punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Big kick. Oh, connects with the one two. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, he's got the over-under. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, you can hear the whack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg. He's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing uh -huh. Tom Brady. Stop it. John, uh -huh. stop. Right hand landed. Big clutch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, he's back in the clinch. Look for him to get that right hand fist. Left hand punch with the clinch. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Big kick lands. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Massive knee lands in tight clinch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, nice hook. That was a crippling shot right there. Do it real tight. Elbow tight. Big check in it. Landed it right on the chin. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice punch by Lee. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. He lands a big knee to the body. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing this kick with so much force. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking touch. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. All right, so another good series of knees by him there, DC. That has been his weapon of choice tonight. Weapon of choice because his opponent has not figured out where the knees are coming. High or low, every time he throws them, they're landing. What a punch. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Right hand on point. 
All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Beautiful kick. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just misses with the straight left hand. Huge knee lands from the tie clinch. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Nice head kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice loop and punch. Stuff to take down, no problem. And they separate. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Ooh. <laughs> Superman punch now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice leg kick land. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Nice head kick. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs. To throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Plans the right hand. And that's the end of round number two. All right, the round is over. Cut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, He's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, what a five minutes it was, DC. Take us through the replay, if you would. The story of the round was the knees. Every time they came into contact, he was looking to drive his knee into the body of his opponent. And if his opponent ever thought body knee coming, he would just mix up the target and try to take it up top. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing Whoa! that kick. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He is getting lit up right now, John. That one landed clean. Oh, big left hook there. Strike. Both guys landing with conviction now. And a knee. All right, single collar tie now. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. One of the most important strikes in the clinch is this big body shot. Ooh, what a punch. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. And he landed the right hand there. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, that's a nice strike. 
Just over three minutes now to go. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Just misses with the straight right. Nice. Lee's hook to the body was blocked. Right idea, wrong execution. Again, back into this position. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Man! Oh, collar tie. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Beautiful punch. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. And they separate. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Another clinch position. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Single collar tie now. Left hand punches the clinch. Big punch lands through the middle. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Right hand punch. It's a nice back and forth action here. All right, so a nice shot. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up. When it comes to his aggressiveness, the striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. He's got him hurt here. Oh, he might be out. goes in and secures the takedown. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kabura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. He might get a finish here. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing more discouraging then when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. A little single collar tie there. Big punch from the clinch. And they separate. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Got the single collar tie. Nice punch lands over the top. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, nice counter jab to snap the head back. Oh, single collar tie here. Off 
prevents this fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Oh, elbow to the head right out of the clinch. Good work there by Lee. Nice leg kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Right under the elbow by the keep playing. Punch over the top. All right, he engages oh, in big the single knee. collar tie. Work here, staying busy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. It's probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his positive. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, it creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, him. he has to be attacking that cut. John to be. If he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, found the target there with a straight right counter. All right, he closes the distance, gets the oh, oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's in trouble. He's getting Whoa! lit up. for the spinning kick there, telegraphed it a little bit, no good. Lee gets caught with that punch, he'd be wise to get those hands up. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Right hand punch from the clinch. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At three minutes, 43 seconds of round number four, declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.